one of the most uh, important reasons that you know the rain dance is, exists is sort of sort of discovering, nurturing, and inspiring new talent. I think it's an incredible organisation, incredible festival that it runs. Um, some of the filmmakers that worked on Queen's Mile, which I made about 18 months ago, still in its festival run now. Some of the young filmmakers that worked with us um, ended up also supporting their own projects and their sort of first short film that they made together, Rain Dance picked it up for the festival and uh, it's just incredible to sort of have that support within the industry. Uh, and if it wasn't for organizations like Rain Dance, we wouldn't be able to sort of get those filmmakers to find an audience uh, and to really sort of discover their voice and, and get their work out there. So it's just, we need, we need organizations like this, absolutely. The most crucial thing about uh, independent film is that it's, you're talking about um, filmmakers and, and not always, but often filmmakers sort of starting out as well. Uh, as I say, it's not always that way. You have a lot of um, prolific independent filmmakers, but it's, it's about putting sort of a support back into the industry. Um, if you look at sort of parts of Europe, especially France, film industry is exceptionally good. Um, and if, if in England, we've, we've suffered over the years. If you, you know, I was, I was talking with friends of mine about sort of golden age of years and years ago, like the carry-on films and the fact that there was always an audience for that post-war uh, or Norman Wisdom, those kind of movies. We kind of have a different um, way of making cinema now, but it's totally crucial that there is that support for independent film because not only is it about finding commercial projects um, people want to see, but it's about finding those kind of little gems, those kind of unsung heroes, as it were. The films that don't have a lot of support behind them financially in terms of promoting them, um, but still say something very interesting or uh, provide something incredibly didactic that an audience wants to see. And, and that's where organizations like Raindance are, uh, are, are vital. Um, so independent, it, it has its, you know, it's, we, we find less commercial projects in independent cinema, but it's crucial because you know, film is, is artwork, and actually, if, if there's no one out getting those brush strokes on a canvas, then how do we get to see it? And I think it, it's an incredible, incredible way to sort of reach an audience. I think storytelling is a crucial part of our lives. Amar Akbar and Sony, which is a British Asian comedy that I was involved in, which has been ongoing for some time, we sort of had a cinema release about 18 months ago, and uh, it's just got its worldwide distribution so we're about to hit DVD shelves across the world which is kind of incredible um, and not what we expected um, so that's amazing um, we're just gearing up for that um, uh, Bonded by Blood 2 is also coming out and there's a couple of projects that I've done in the last sort of six months unfortunately American projects that I've signed sort of NDAs on so um, we, won't, we won't be able to talk about those too much yet but um, hopefully it won't be long <laughs>